Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here and today I am finally doing a video that I've been long awaiting for and that is going to be my official apartment tour. I have lived in this apartment since June and it is now the middle of November so I am finally getting this up I feel like most of my apartment is together um, I will say if you are interested in anything that you see throughout the apartment I will link as many things as I possibly can over on my blog post which will be linked in the description box below so if you are interested in anything you see either DM me or just head over to the blog post for all of that information I won't keep you here for long so let's just hop right in to the official official apartment tour. So since it's just going to be me and um, I'm a one man show here, uh, this is just going to be a lot more casual, okay? So when you first walk in, my door is right behind me. This is Starting with my entryway, right here I have this little bookshelf that I got from Ikea and I was actually looking for something that would be like a really great entryway table but I couldn't find the exact thing that I wanted that would fit in this space exactly. So I thought about a bookshelf and Ikea has obviously some really great cheap options so that's where I got this and um, yeah I wanted a little entryway table here mainly so that I could have somewhere that I could keep essential things like my keys, wallet, sunglasses, things like that, that when I'm running out the door, everything is just right here. And so I actually decided to keep them in this box that I have right here. Um, so it's actually hidden and away from everything, but yet super convenient because everything I need to go is right in that box. But yeah, this also adds some more decor to the space, which I really love. I love decorating and kind of piecing different things together. So this um, is kind of what I'm working with so far, but I definitely think that, you know, over time as I collect more things, this will change quite frequently. So we're gonna be a little backlit here for a second, but also right when you walk in my door, you see this little shelving unit right away. And I actually got this from home goods or I think I actually got it from Marshall's um, a few years ago and I just decided I really didn't know where else to put it so I figured this would be the perfect space um, I really haven't changed this since the day that I moved in and this kind of got uh, decorated with all of the random things that I didn't know where else to put so I have my plants here and if you saw my apartment tour from last year at my college apartment I had this same shelving unit over my bed with the same plants on either side this candle here is from anthropology and then I didn't know where else to place my perfumes and so I just decided to place them here to be honest I quite honestly do not grab for them quite often but you know it's nice it looks nice um, but yeah this is kind of cute but not necessarily my style but I just never really changed it all right, so behind me is also something that you see as soon as you walk in the door and it is hidden behind some curtains that I actually had from last year's apartment. And we put a tension rod up here um, so that the curtains can go on. And basically what this is, is my washer and dryer. So I do have a washer and dryer in unit and um, it doesn't come with anything to cover it. So obviously didn't want that just you know out in the open so uh, some curtains were like a pretty cheap and uh, good alternative to keeping this enclosed and then on top I just have my little basket with all of my laundry necessities and then I also have some storage space to the side here as well so I have this little space here and in it I just keep my shark steam mop and then my little cart here that um, is super, super handy if you have an elevator and you live alone. I carry literally everything in this when I go to and from my car when I leave for the weekend or if I have a big uh, load of groceries. It's just super convenient. So immediately when you come in, here is my bathroom. 
and my bathroom is actually a pretty decent size for the fact that I have a studio apartment, which I'm super happy about. There's me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just an overview. So in my bathroom, I have this nice mirror here. And then right now, I just have the sink space, it's super simple, which I like when it's more simplistic rather than when there's a bunch of stuff out. And then this, I feel as though, is like key for any small space. Considering I live in a studio apartment, I really wanted to make sure that I was um, being very smart with how I was storing things and not only making things look cute but also having everything be super functional. So I only have this little cabinet under the sink which holds literally so 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 much of my stuff but even something like this to go on the back of the doors is super handy to just take up space. This is very cluttered but um, there's just a lot of stuff and I don't have anywhere else to put it. And then this is like my favorite part of the entire bathroom. I think it just makes like such a statement, but I got the ladder shelf from Walmart for super, super inexpensive. Um, I know they sell them at a lot of other places and I think they are a lot more expensive. I think this one was like $69. And I honestly prefer, I will have this for years to come. I prefer something that looks a little bit more elegant rather than the uh, like silver wire racks that go over the toilet. Um, and I knew I wanted some open shelves as well. So I just decorated this with a bunch of stuff. It's functional, it has toilet paper. Uh, these little canisters have cotton balls, cotton swabs, things like that. Um, this is more so for decor, but it holds these, um, which are nice because it's obviously storage, but it looks cute. As for my mirror here, I honestly just didn't know where to put this. I, I had this in my apartment last year and didn't know where to put it, but I honestly found, you might be wondering why I have it on the front of the door for the bathroom when I already have a mirror here, but it honestly is nice because if I ever am doing my hair in here, I you can see, I can see like perfectly behind my head, um, which is really nice. And also too, it's good because I can just come around here and great, I can see myself like up close and personal. Um, and yeah, that's really nice too. Also, what it's functional for is if I'm leaving and I'm heading out the door, I could just pull this shut for like one last outfit look too. As for my shower, I, I got my shower curtain from CB2 as well as my shower mat. All towels are from Target. Um, and then my shower is just very white, which I really like, white tile. And then I have so many different products in here. There are just products literally everywhere because that's like the number one thing I get sent and I literally just don't know where to put them half the time. That is the bathroom, super simple. I like to keep it very cozy and elegant in here um, and like lift up the concrete ground and like bring some like warmer tones to it to make it feel more homey. Coming out the bathroom then, I have this little runner from I think Rugs USA, but it was super, super, super affordable. I will say I don't have a mat underneath, so it does slide around, but once you get used to it, you don't really think twice about it. The next thing you see when you walk in is my closet here, and this is the only closet I have in my entire apartment, so again, I really had to be smart with storage. My closet, obviously, is going to be super jam-packed, but it actually has a lot, a lot of space because it goes all the way up but obviously I would need a ladder if I built up and with the restrictions of this here, it's also super unstable. As you can see, it's already fallen once before, so I don't, it already has a lot of heavy stuff on it, but I don't wanna put anything too drastic on top and it's working out quite well for me right now, but this is, this is just a little overview. I, like I said, I had to really do as best as I could with storage. I put some hooks on the wall so that I can hang my purses. And then I have some reusable bags, a little storage here, my yoga mat, everything like that's in the back. I have some bins for shoes here. And then in the way, way back, because it does go back pretty deep, I have an entire shoe rack back here. I have my hamper in here. And 
and then over here I actually put in two of these three plastic drawer organizers from Walmart I believe and they hold all my like socks underwear workout clothes um, hoodies sweatpants they do not hold much whatsoever so they are like basically overflowing um, and then to hang my hats I just put some command hooks on the wall as well as same with my belts all of my workout gear is up here baskets full of bags um, camera equipment towels jeans extra hangers uh, this is actually I could take home because it's all like swimsuits and things like that I have these little jewelry organizers right here um, which are really nice and yeah I put my vacuum in here as well and just attached an extension cord that goes out here so that it wasn't just like out in the open and it looks so much better just being in here away then we come into the kitchen and here's a little overview So what's really nice about my kitchen um, is that the amount of storage space that there is and countertop space is so insane. Um, I really, really lucked out. I also love how the countertops are white um, and the cabinets up here are white, but down below they are like a darker brown. I am so obsessed with my kitchen. I really cannot, I don't know, I couldn't have gotten luckier. It is an interesting setup with the cabinet space though like while there is a lot of cabinet space the shelving units inside are just kind of weirdly sized and I don't know how to you can totally like move them up and around and change the heights of them but I just could not figure that out my parents couldn't figure it out so it definitely is interesting but it works I really don't I, I meant to get like super organized with my cabinets but it just didn't work out. I like literally left it go. I threw everything in a spot and now it has a spot and I haven't touched it since I moved in. So that's how it is. Um, but yeah, I am so, so lucky. I literally haven't even filled half of the space in the cabinets and I have a lot of stuff. I literally like don't even have anything in here because I don't even know what to put in here. Like, you know, there's just a lot, but love this space so so much i am lucky i have a full-on stove a microwave i have a dishwasher that's a full like good size um and yeah a nice sized uh, fridge as well so i'll take you guys around a little bit i'm not going to go into too much depth but right here i just have this bowl that i got from home goods and i keep uh vegetables and sometimes fruit in it as well this carpet here I got from Target a little while ago again I really had to optimize storage so kind of created a little system for under the sink here which I think worked out well paper towels I really don't want out so I have them on here as for countertops I really don't like much out so I just have my Keurig in the corner and then two little canisters my fridge is pretty nice and then I just have a bunch of stuff in these drawers right here. Then for my countertop, which obviously is so, so big and so nice, um, I just have a little centerpiece over here that will be getting changed soon because Christmas is coming. But I just picked these from a place by my apartment um, back in the summer and it worked out really well. I think it's super nice and adds like a bohemian touch then I have, I rotate out different candles based on the season and put one on this um, serving tray. And then I have a little anthro mug with a lighter in it so that I could light all the candles. And then as for my countertop chairs, these are so perfect. They are such great quality for the price of them. I wanted like a mid-century modern um, feel with a lot of my furniture and then boho touches with the decor. So that's kind of the vibe I went with. And these chairs were perfect. I wanted a leather upholstered um, mid-century modern style chair. And uh, this is a Cognac leather. I got them off of Target and most places that I found that had something very similar to these were about like 100 or so per chair. Um, 100, 100 and like 20 something around there for 
a chair or sometimes they had sets but the cheapest place i found for the chairs was target i do believe they still have them on their website because i know that people keep on purchasing those chairs so um if i can still link them i will but they are perfect. Um, I will most certainly be taking these to my next apartment for sure. Um, and then as for the rest of the kitchen, I just have a hanging over here, a Philadelphia map hanging from Mapiful. And um, yeah, super simple. I wanted it to be like not too cluttered just because with a studio apartment, you know, obviously you see everything from every side of the room. And I wanted to not only make sure I was separating each room, but to make sure that each room went with each other. I say each room, but I consider each a uh, separate part of my apartment a different room um, but I just wanted to make sure that they all went together so that's that and if you are new here I did an empty apartment tour when I first moved in which feels like so so long ago now but yeah time is just flying by my little friend in the back here he is so great um, I had talked about potentially covering him up when I first moved in because I did not know that man was going to be here and obviously he doesn't fit with the vibes of my apartment. I also just thought it was a little creepy and weird um, but I decided to end up keeping him. I really don't think twice about it honestly and I barely even notice him. Literally it just adds a little bit of character to my apartment anyway so yeah I kept him and don't think twice about it and that's uh, that. Also because, I mean, not aesthetic, but I just have my trash can here because I have nowhere else to put it. So again, I don't think twice about it. And yeah, I really do not mind having a studio apartment whatsoever, especially one that's like this. It literally feels so homey. And yeah, I don't think twice about like my kitchen being right there with my living room and my bedroom. The next little spot of my apartment is right across from my kitchen. And this is the little like nook I have. I love the industrial touches of the apartment um this is like from the original building and same with the um wall mural over here so that's pretty cool but i just recently designed this and from the start i had intentions of putting a bar cart here couldn't find one that i loved and that was for a good price i finally just picked out this one which is super simple not ideal like what i wanted but it was so cheap from ikea this isn't necessarily how i'm going to style it this is just how it is for now and I also just don't know where to put the mirror that I have here. So that is there for now as well. But it works for the current state. But I just have all my alcohol and um, wine glasses, beer glasses, cocktail glasses, and then this random basket here. And then another decoration for Christmas because Christmas is a coming. All right, coming into the living room, aka also my office area. This is one of my favorite parts of my apartment. I love how I decorated and I think it's just so me. Again, um, went with some mid-century modern touches with the bohemian accents. So over here, this is where I decided to put my TV and my TV media console. I decided to go with, like I said, the mid-century modern style uh, furniture pieces. And um, yeah. So this is very mid-century modern. I always get questions about my media console. Um, my TV is a 55 inch Samsung TV. I got this on a really, really, really great deal before I moved into my apartment. And I, obviously with Black Friday coming up too, there's gonna be amazing deals again on TVs. So I looked out and I love my TV. I was never a TV gal in like previous apartments. Um, I'm usually just one to watch like YouTube on my laptop or phone and that's about it. But this TV has honestly, I feel as though saved my life with living alone just because otherwise I feel as though I'd be so lonely. If I'm ever like lonely while I'm working, I'll throw on Spotify on the TV and have it like light music playing in the background or go on YouTube and like type in fireplace and have that in the background as well. It's also just nice um, to like play music off of when I have people over obviously and then I watch all of my YouTube now on my TV which that was never my style but 
this is just like my me time now and I love my TV so so much so I'm so glad I got it if you are thinking about getting one I would just do it especially if you live alone because it just helps like take away from the loneliness and like the quiet aspect of like being alone so yeah I really like that a lot for decor I just literally have like four different types of pompous grass in this vase now which i don't believe this vase is available anymore it is super cool it's like a burlap wrapped which is so cool and adds a bohemian touch i love pompous grass so so much and i'm literally just collecting it even though i don't have places to put it as for on top of my console um so i wanted to keep what i added for decor on top super minimal and i really never changed it um yeah, it would be nice to have like different coffee table books instead of this, but yeah, it works for right now. And then again, I just have, um, you know, a little fall decor there that will be taken out soon. I just have this basket with two blankets in it from, I got this from Target a while ago. And again, here it comes in with the functional, but yet decorative furniture pieces because this acts as more storage and in here I just have extra bed sheets and a lot of electronic stuff some extra light bulbs in here I have all of my books back here some games some candles things like that and then I have all of my like accessories in this drawer nothing in this one and then a lot of like travel bags and stuff like that in here my couch is also something I get tons and tons of questions on. And this was a steal of a find on Wayfair. I wanted, again, a Cognac leather, mid-century modern style couch. And a lot of the ones that I wanted were way out of my price range. This one I found off of Wayfair. I was a little skeptical because I was, you know, obviously moving in times of COVID and couldn't see or feel or touch or anything like that, uh, the couch in person. So I just went with it and honestly for the price, it is super, super comfortable. I personally really love it a lot. It's the perfect size. Dom and I can fit on this couch. Um, yeah, and obviously I mostly sit on it cause I'm the only one who lives here, but I just have some decorative pillows on it, super neutral, and then a little throw blanket here on the back. And then, I was looking for so, so long for a coffee table to fit this space. And honestly, I wanted something that I could like put a drink up on if I wanted to, but I could also just like rest my feet and be comfortable. And I got the idea to get like a little ottoman here, but not a traditional like coffee table ottoman. So this is something that you typically would put like at the end of your bed. And I opted for it to be like a coffee table and something to put your feet up on. And I could not have picked a better ottoman. I love that so much. It was also super affordable off of Wayfair and I think it completes like the whole living room. My rug was also super inexpensive from Walmart. And will I keep this for years to come? Probably not, but it works for now. And you know, it's just, it works for the space. It was super affordable. So now coming into probably one of the most recent uh, parts of my apartment that I finished. And that is my little corner over here. Um, I personally hung all of these uh, frames up on the wall to make like a little gallery wall and I love how it turned out but I did not do the best job and you don't want to look too close because most of the frames are crooked and there's still pencil marks on the wall so just being open and honest with you here but this is like my little desk area my little workspace um I you know with working at home not because of covid just because that is the nature of my job um i was originally working at my countertop table for most of the months like literally up until the end of last month or the beginning of november i was working at my countertop table and it was hard for me to continue with work and like not separate my time of like being at work versus just like being here like and having like personal alone time or whatever like I had papers out and my laptop was always out on my countertop and that just didn't feel like I was separating work from life basically so I wanted to get a desk just didn't know where I'd put it in the space and this is not ideal it's grown on me um, but I'm so glad that I now have some sort of desk space as well 
and I went with something super cheap from Ikea uh, that was also multi-purpose and multi-functional so that's kind of why it looks the way it looks it's not ideal for aesthetic and looks but it's ha it has so many different purposes so let's hop in so all of the prints that you see on the wall are from Desenio. I love, love their website. I got most of the frames from Ikea. And then this is a mappable print. And same with this one over here. And my desk, you probably are like, what the heck? Uh, it's kind of interesting, but I built this from Ikea. It's two Alex uh, five drawers, not nine drawers. Five drawers on either side, and then a slab of, I don't even know what, from Ikea on top. It's literally like, it's just like put together, thrown together, and um, it works. But it's not the most aesthetic thing. My chair, I originally had it in this corner with this little lamp over here, and that was more aesthetic. But this chair actually works out perfect. It's super comfortable for me, and I got it from a thrift shop, but it's actually from Walmart, so I can link that for you. And then in one side of these Alex drawers, I have all of my makeup. So all of this makeup was originally in my bathroom under the cabinet. And like I said, it was like I could not fit anything else under there. So I needed to figure out another situation for that. And this works out. There's so much space in these drawers. I literally still have so much I can fit in them. So these will be nice when I go into future apartments because it's just great storage. And then this one is where I have all of my like office and desk supplies and things like that. So this is super functional. And then I have my laptop, a candle, and because it's already busy over here, I didn't really want too much on my desk. Um, and then I have my dry erase board calendar, which is a lifesaver. As for here, I just have a little ottoman that I really didn't know where else to put. So it's just chilling there for now. And this part of my apartment is probably the most seen. I feel like you guys have definitely seen my apartment. Like there's really not much to show, um, like more to show, I guess I could say, because I've shown bits and pieces throughout most of my videos, but, and I'm sure you can kind of piece together what it looks like. Um, but this is the side of my apartment where you probably see the most often with all my hauls and things like that. So over here, I actually got this with the intent of, you know, just having something to fill the space. Also for uh, videos to have like clothes that I'm shooting and stuff like that on. And I didn't realize that it would actually become essential for me because my closet cannot hold more clothes. And they come in quite frequently, which I am blessed and grateful for. So this I actually have turned into um, at the current state it is now not only when new arrivals come in from different brands I'm working with but it's also um, like right now for instance I'm shooting pretty days of outfits so I always plan out those outfits a week in advance and I bring all of the clothes that I am shooting for that week uh, to this rack and I can see everything and I'm good to go so same with like shooting content if there's a specific outfit that I need to shoot that will go on this rack as well and I try and keep it as organized as possible right now it's a little messy because there's a lot of things currently going on that I need to shoot and I'm shooting for so that's the current state of this and then I just have some new arrival shoes and shoes that I'll be using for the content on the rack as well then this mirror is another thing that I often get asked about and this was such a steal it is a huge mirror um, and it was only like 80 some dollars from Kirkland's so if you're looking for great mirrors for your house apartment whatever Kirkland's is the place to go I can link that for you and then I like how it also is kind of like a Parisian style, but also still goes with like the entire aesthetic of my apartment. Um, and I like it a lot. This I got from Home Goods, um, and I honestly had nowhere to put it, and I figured I would just buy it and find somewhere to put it, and so it went there, but don't necessarily love that where it's at. And then I have a little vase here and there, and um, with some pompous grass in it. And the official last part of my apartment is the bedroom, I guess you can say. I absolutely love how I ended up coming up with the design for my bedroom then. Um, it's gone through a few changes here and there and I am so obsessed with how it is currently. So let's take you through everything. 
So I have two wall hangs, hangings here which are both from Desenio and the frames are from Ikea, I believe. Um, my bed frame is from Wayfair, mid-century modern vibes. Um, same with the nightstands, they are from Target. The lamps are a little bit more vintage and this one is actually broken, um, but they are from Home Goods. And I often get questions about this. This is so, so inexpensive and I think this is an eight by 10. And um, yeah, even for an eight by 10 rug, I think it was like $110. Really great quality. My bedding, um, all of the pillows are from Home Goods. Um, bedding is from TJ Maxx, but I actually found it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, so I can link that. And the throw is also from Home Goods. And then this is just the look from the other side, but same exact thing. So that is officially it for the official apartment tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there will be another video coming very soon. That is why I wanted to do this now because I was in a rush to like finish everything the way that I wanted it to be before I film um, like my apartment tour, like Winter Wonderland edition, which will be coming within the first week of December, which I am so excited for. I literally also wanted to film this today because I believe all of my holiday decor is arriving today. So I obviously with the space I have don't have anywhere else Put that stuff so um i didn't want to show that right away so you'll have to wait and come back for the holiday decor haul and the entire winter wonderland edition apartment tour so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you aren't already again check out the blog post if you are interested in any of the links for the things that i've showed today in my tour and if you have any specific questions or can't find a specific link for something just reach out to me and I can direct you to the right place or fill you in with more information. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.